Hi, I'm GNT and today I'm going to take you through the 540 kick. I know a lot of you don't agree with this name, myself included. There's a lot of arguments for and against, but the majority of people know it as this name. And if I post it as this, hopefully if they need help, they will find this video. If you were looking for another 540 kick, I've probably got a tutorial on that one as well. So check my kicker tutorials playlist. Making this video feels very nostalgic for me as this was the first tutorial I posted on this channel. It was a good tutorial for its time, but we've progressed a lot and I know I can deliver a better tutorial for you now. Okay, so before attempting the 540 kick, I recommend that you have a 360 round ice, also known as a tornado kick, to a good standard. If you need help with this, there's a link for the tutorial in the description. If you have that move already, I want you to try and drive that first knee up even more, so you gain more height and time to do the 540 kick. Also, make sure you are kicking all the way through, as when you try the 540, you need to kick through and land on the kicking leg. If you don't kick all the way through or are kicking too early when attempting the 540, you will land flat-footed and damage your joints. Also, to avoid this problem, turning the first knee out after driving up will release the hips to kick all the way through. Think of it like throwing a turning kick on the ground. If I have the knee up straight to the front, I go against my hip, making it more difficult to do the move. But with the knee turned, the hip is released and I am able to kick all the way through and continue the momentum into a safe landing for either the 360 or 540 kick. If you struggle with the flexibility of kicking through with the rain dice, then the inward crescent kick is an easier option. Follow the same advice as previously mentioned, but focus on delivering an inward crescent kick instead. When you have the 360 with good height at kicking all the way through and it feels effortless, you are ready to focus on the drills for the 540 kick. Okay, so when first attempting the timing for the 540 kick, we need to realize that the takeoff is different from the 360. When doing the 360, we take off at 45 degrees, but with the 540, it's better to take off with the knee almost to the front, as it helps with initiating the hip, kicking all the way through, landing the move safely, and creates the opportunity of continuing after the move. So the first drill I recommend is to sight to the front, turn on the ball of the foot, turn back to the front, and lift the leg to the new position. This will help you get used to the new position of takeoff. Second drill is to just drive the knee up of the non-kicking leg whilst only taking off of the leg that is going to kick. This will get you used to combining the knee with the jump. Third drill is to jump taking off of two feet to throw the round ace and to land onto that leg. This way you will have more power to do the kick and understand the landing more easily and safely. Remember to turn your front leg out so you can go through with the move. Try to land on the ball of the foot to absorb impact and continue the spin out of the landing to avoid damaging your joints. For the fourth drill, I want you to start at the takeoff position, jump only off the kicking leg, kick over the top and land onto it. Before going all out, my advice is to build it up, start with a mini kick and increase it until it goes over the top. Also, if you panic at any point, just put the other foot down first or land double footed. This drill will also help you understand the other things that help with your 540 kick, like your shoulders and arms driving up with the knee on takeoff to give you more height. This is a very hard drill and don't expect the kick to be high, but if you can get close to landing it, you will have the correct timing and easily make the move when you have the momentum from the spin. I prefer teaching the last drill first rather than just going for the move, as when you first attempt it, the awareness is not there and the extra momentum from the spin increases your risk of injuries. When you get it close to this level, you are more than ready to attempt the full move. So with the full move, my right leg's in front, I look forward to spot my target, I bring my arms to the side to help wind up, and I turn on the ball of the foot while swinging my arms to create even more momentum for the spin. I then turn to the takeoff position and spot back to my target. I drive up with my knee, my arms, shoulders and hips to combine with the jump and the leg lift into kick. This will give me a lot of height to complete the move. The leg then comes over the top kicking through. I turn the hip down whilst tucking the other leg up and fold my kick inside shoulder and arms in to help spin out faster. Then I land on the ball of my foot to absorb impact and keep on turning so the momentum continues into my spin. You don't want to land flat footed as all the pressure will go into your leg potentially causing an injury. If you are still struggling with the move, keep being persistent and remember to build up the height of the kicking leg slowly. You can also land on the other leg or double footed if you are unsure whether you will land safely. This is also a great way of improving the timing of your jump safely. If you struggle with the momentum aspect, here are a few ways to help. You can step into the move from the side so you add an extra quarter turn into your takeoff. Very good for tricking combinations as it carries on moving sideways. You can step straight forward into the position so you have an extra half spin. 
but the way most people get this move quickly, including myself, is to add a kick beforehand. The way I first did mine was to round a straight through, place the foot down and use the momentum into the 540. You could do this with other kicks like a spin hook kick or even a 360. See what works best for you and remember you can always do the fail saves if you feel you are not going to land. When you get used to the move you will be able to land it comfortably, be able to combo out of it, progress onto harder moves like the jackknife and if you want a challenge try it on your other side. So work hard and I'm sure this move will become easy for you and that you will progress swiftly. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my other social media if you haven't already. And good luck with your training.